Alright, we have here what's called a Permobil F3 power chair. The F stands for front wheel drive. As you can see, that's the, the drive wheels, the main wheels are in the front of the chair. Front wheel drive F3. This power chair has two miles, so it's practically brand new. It has five electrical functions. It has a 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, and it has what's called the interior tilt, where the seat tilts forwards. Five electrical functions, okay? So, all the functions, if you want to raise and do all that kind of good stuff, can be done through the joystick or through the switch box right here, right behind the joystick. I like to use this one, it's quicker for me. You can do whatever you want. But so, the first button is the seat lift. So, so if I push on the first one, you can see the seat lift starting to go up. So when you start down, you'll be at 22 inches. So if you add 12 inches, you'll be at 34 inches when it's all the way up. You'll be eye level with people. So if you want to talk to someone eye level, pretty much be eye level. The benefit is this is the seat lift is you can see more, of course, but also with the seat lift, you can do your dishes down into your sink. You can grab stuff from the second cabinet over your sink. You can also, if you're at a movie theater, see over everybody else. But also the nice thing about this chair it helps you get out of the chair, which I'll show you later how to get out of the chair with the seat elevated a little bit. So if you have trouble getting out and pushing out and doing all kind of good stuff, I'll show you how easy it is with this chair in a few minutes. So this is your 12 inch seat lift. The nice thing about this is, even though the seat's elevated, let me see if I can turn, this chair will drive at a really good speed with the seat elevated, okay? So we've got the seat elevated here on this chair and I'll bring it back here so we can line it up. But you can still drive this chair at a decent speed with the seat elevated. So let's look at the base on this chair. Well, we have 14 inch solid tires. They're not gonna mark your floors. This is just a tip wheel in front off the ground. Caster wheels of eight inch in the back, solid tires will not mark your floor. We have a suspension here and another one here. So you have double suspension here and double on the opposite side. You have four of these heavy shock that can be adjusted by turning this ring right here, okay? This chair weighs 425 pounds, so with another 200 pound, it's gonna be over 600 pounds, this chair will give you an amazing ride just because it's heavy, it has all kinds of suspension. As a matter of fact, if I push down on the chair, you can see the suspension in the back. You can see working a little bit that suspension back there, okay? So you also have an anchor point here, another anchor point inside of here. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport it on your van, in your van or on your lift, okay? There's a motor for each wheel on each side. You can't see the motor because it's behind here and it goes this way directly to the, to the hub. But you can see the lever right here. What that lever does right there is, if I want to push this chair, let's just say you forgot to charge it or maybe you have an issue with the chair, nothing's perfect. So you need to push it around, make sure the power is off Okay, there's no power on. You want no resistance in the motors. When the power's off, push this lever down. What that does, it unlocks the wheel. You can see the wheel rolling by itself now. Okay, you got both motors, then you can get the chair out of the way. When you're done rolling it, please folks, put it back in gear because nothing will work the next morning if you don't put it back in gear, okay? So this is your seat lift we just covered. We covered the base. You can see the armature right here for the seat lift. You can see the actuator right here. That's the actuator that makes the seat go up and down, tilt and recline, all kinds of stuff there, okay? So we're gonna bring this seat down. This chair also has what's called a swing away joystick. I just took away nine, 10 inches from here to here. This enab enables you to get closer to our dining table without having to raise the whole arm up. Okay, if you're left-handed, we can switch everything to the left side with no problem. Okay. The second feature I'm going to show is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here, you can see it going back. When that base goes back, it's going to take the legs, it's going to take the back because they're all connected together. What's the benefit of this? This is great for if you want to have circulation in your legs. You want to take pressure off your bottom. You want to take pressure off your back. You can, or you just want to relax, okay? If you want some really, this is as far as it'll go. So if you want some really good circulation, you could ele elevate the legs like this, all the way up in the air. Now they'll come down because of, when no, nobody's sitting in the chair, they don't stay up. But this would be the extreme circulation here. 
and we can adjust these feet. So if you're five feet tall, six foot two, we can adjust them. But I'm going to bring this seat halfway down just to show you. If you're halfway tilted, you can still have your legs higher, your feet, your legs halfway up. So if you were here, you could still have your feet higher than your body. Okay? So I'm going to bring the tilt back down. So, so far we've covered the seat lift, the tilt, the legs. The next feature I'm going to show you is called the recline. The electric recline is when the back right here, nothing else moves, just the back goes back by itself. This is called the electric recline. That noise you hear is the leather touching the vinyl here. So this is what it would look like. You're pretty much flat in this chair if you were reclined all the way down. Okay? So I'm going to bring the recline up. I'm going to bring the legs down. I'm doing two buttons at once. You can do two functions at once with the joystick without having to do two buttons like I'm doing. I'm doing this to just to save time. When you're outside, leave those legs out so you have more room under there. Like it gives you more clearance. Alright, so far we've covered the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the legs. The last function, the fifth function, is called the interior tilt. So the interior tilt is when the bottom here, is when the bottom goes, the back goes for, you'll see it. Just watch. Look at that. This is called an interior tilt. And remember earlier I was telling you about how easy it is to get out of this chair? Let me show you something. I'm going to bring the legs in. Okay? I'm going to flip the foot plate. Now I'm going to elevate the seat now. So if you have someone who has trouble getting out, with the seat elevated like this, if I was sitting in this chair right now like this, and I put my feet down, I'm standing, practically. Okay? You can go even higher. So if you want to go higher, so if you have someone who has trouble, slide down, you're standing. So with the anterior tilt and the, the seat elevation, which makes that format so much easier to get out of the chair. So I'm going to bring, before I bring the seat all the way down, let me bring the, the interior tilt, ah, wrong button, right here. So I'm going to bring the seat back flat. You can see, I'm going to bring it back down. There we go. I'm going to put my foot plates back out. So if you're in the house with this chair, this would be your turning radius. So if you had it in the house, this is what you need to turn. Technically, you need about four feet. So if you go one, two, three, four would be here. If you watch, if I have it close to the wall, you should be pretty much be within four feet. You may want to give yourself a little bit more until you're better at it. The seat in this chair is 18 by 18. It's a Rojo air seat, um, one of the best seats out there, but if you don't like air seat, we can accommodate you with different seats. If the seat is too big, too small, we can adjust these. All this is adjustable. We can make the seats bigger, larger. We have different cushion, we have different back. We can adjust all that. The arms flip up, okay? So if you transfer from the side, you have little lateral pads here. They can be removed. You can transfer from the side, or if you come in from the front, these lateral pads are nice. What they do is they keep your knees, they keep your feet because your knees are not going out and your foot's not coming off the foot plate, okay? These are, these are customs on here. You have a safety belt right here. And the arms flip up. The back of the chair, you have a fully adjustable headrest right here. You see all the adjustments. And also back here, if you, when we ship these chairs, we always, always turn the power off right here. So if you follow, if you see this, this right here, in the back of the chair, there's a hole right here. But on top of it, inside, at the top, I just turned it off. I turned all the power off, you can see, no more power. So when you get your chair, you have to go in here, find the button on top, and, it, and it's kind of hard. It's a, it's a heavy duty um, switch box, okay? And then you can turn your power back up front. And I think we've covered everything about the chair so far. So now, when you charge the chair, you'll take your Permobil charger right here and you'll plug it right below your joystick right here. 
and as soon as the light goes to 100%, the charger will stop charging. These are, these are smart chargers, they know when to stop. So let's recap. This is a green, green F3 power chair for front wheel drive. It has five electrical function. This chair has two miles, folks. It's practically brand new. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, and it has the interior tilt, which I've showed you earlier how easy it is to get out when you have the seat lift and the interior tilt, okay? So this is the F3 with two miles. It also has a swing away joystick, the flip up arm, the Rojo air cushion, the knee lateral pad for the knees, the adjustable headrest. So if you like the color green, you want the top in quality and you want a front, end, front wheel drive, here's another really nice one. So this is the J6 power chair. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is the F3 power chair. This power chair has a top speed of about six miles an hour. Very, very smooth. No problem in the grass because it's front wheel drive should have any problem. I'm going to raise the seat up and so you can see me driving with the seat elevated. Okay, we're all the way up now. So if you're driving this chair with the seat elevator, I want to show you what it looks like. I'm going to turn it around this way here so you can see. So this chair will drive anywhere from two to three miles an hour with the seat elevated. So it's got a really nice elevation. So again, this is the Permobil F3 power chair, fully loaded with the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, the lateral knee pads, the interior tilt, the swing away joystick, just a beautiful uh, green color. And this chair has two miles, so it's practically new. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.